make sure you can end his house. Nemo firmware is only getting bigger and better. So let me show you the easiest method to install Nemo on pretty much any of your M5 devices. First of all, search for M5. First of all, allow me to introduce you to PCBWay. PCBWay is pretty much the head honcho for us curious hardware nerds looking to turn cool ideas into real projects. Whether it's 3D printing, custom PCB designing, CNC machining, and so on, all you gotta do is upload a design, customize it however you like, and PCBWay takes care of the rest. If you're an electronics nerd, check out PCBWay's modules page for ESP32s, Raspberry Pis, and other components to power your projects. Check him out from the link. So, where were we? Oh yeah, search for M5 Burner and navigate to the official M5 Stack software downloads page. Scroll down to the UI Flow Firmware Burning Tool section, that's a mouthful, and download the zip file according to your operating system. I'm running Windows, so I'll download the first one. When the download's complete, extract all contents from the downloaded zip file. M5 burner executable. Select the device type as all and search for Nemo. Now that you found Nemo, get it? Finding Nemo. You'll see Nemo for different M5 devices like the M5 Stick C Plus, M5 Stick C Non Plus, card pewter, and even the latest M5 Stick C Plus 2. I have the M5 Stick C Plus, so I'm gonna select the latest version here. For English, select the version with no PTBR written next to it. That's for Portuguese. Then click Burn. It'll give you some shit about Nemo being unofficial firmware, so just be strong and click continue. Finally, click start to begin the installation process, and here's some subjectively banging ass music while you wait. Once it's done, you won't need to manually reset your M5 device since that's already been taken care of within the installation process. And now, you're ready to use Nemo, but let me first walk you through some of its cool features with a little showcase. Let's start with TV Be Gone, in which you select the region of your TV, point the M5 at your TV, and the M5 spams infrared signals to turn the TV off. Next are the Bluetooth spam attacks. Apple Juice to spam Apple devices, Swift Pair to spam Windows machines with Bluetooth, Android Spam for Android devices, Sour Apple Crash to crash specific Apple devices running iOS 17, and BT Maelstrom, which is a filthy cocktail of all the above attacks. Coming to the Wi-Fi features, you can scan for Wi-Fi access points and clone them. Then there's some pranky Wi-Fi spam attacks. And lastly, the star of the show, Nemo Portal, which is a fairly customizable Wi-Fi captive portal attack. Apart from all this hacky stuff though, Nemo has some other thoughtful features too. This includes battery info, which shows you the current battery percentage and more. A setting to change the screen dim time and brightness. And screen orientation. Anyway. Like and subscribe for more stuff like this, and don't forget to follow Shuriken Hacks on Instagram for a lot more hacky stuff I can't and don't post on YouTube. Until then, make Shuriken. Sure